welcome to the hot, hot, hottest show on the interwebs. This is, of course, Talking Mayhem Mania. Welcome. Uh, and our guest here, uh, before we get to the normal guest, another shout out to uh, DJ Lunchbox on his induction into the Wrestling Mayhem Show Hall of Fame. Thank you kindly. It is a it is a true true honor, uh, and uh, I was I was not prepared. It was just a few days ago. Sorg was like, "Hey, you want to be in the Hall of Fame? I'm doing the thing." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> <laughs> got me got me some mayhem mania picks out of it." Yeah, man. Thanks for, thanks for thanks for having me. Congratulations. We're happy to have you as always. As always. So now we go to uh, of course the man who's brainchild this is and of course my condolences to his tom brady retiring yeah so much sadness right now it's okay it's the happiest part of my day right now chad thanks for having me all right we're glad you're here uh let's start off uh someone was released from space jail and someone has entered space jail Penta has left Space Jail. He made it out. He's back, back in the wild. And our Hall of Fame, uh, Hall of Fame lunchbox here, put Chris Jericho in Space Jail, and he is floating there, much like uh, uh, General Zod in Spider Man, or not Spider Man, Superman, Spider Man <laughs> in <laughs> Superman with the uh, prism. Every time it rotates, it's a different Jericho gimmick as he is trapped in Space Jail. That's correct. That's pretty good. All righty. So we'll give you – it was a very interesting evening. We'll give you the rundown of the changes. And, of course, mainstream Matt here, you will uh, see who made these changes. Give us a a, a guess. Mm -hmm. You've been pretty good. Every time we've done this, you have uh, landed the f- at least the first match, and who created it. So, yeah, uh, we led off tonight with someone being added to the Moxley Cardona Strickland Gage match. The Dark Sheik. The Dark Sheik. Yes. Alex, was that you? You son of a bitch. Did it again. <laughs> you got it. it he got that third Alex. eye wide open. Holy mm-hmm. shit. It gotcha. was Alex. The next, the couples match was eliminated. And in its place, very creatively, a uh, zombie, which will be dressed up as Rick Rude, Ricky Morton, the Soul <laughs> Taker, and Lord Zoltan versus Dink. Hornswoggle, Sonny, and the Executioner. 93 Sonny and the mm-hmm. Executioner. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what's more unrealistic, 93 Sonny or Zombie Rick Rude. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we took the zombie from ECW and he would be dressed up as Rick Rude. That's how that would be presented. Sure. Um, wow, it's a hell of a lot of latitude. Uh, that's the kind of latitude I would only expect for a Hall of Famer, so I'm going to guess that that was Lunchbox creating that match. No, that was Beast Man. Beast Man. Oh, we gotta watch <laughs> out for those other guests. Oh man, he Speaking loves in. the large numbered matches, large participants, a lot of participants. I tell you what, because I'm the one who has to make these damn graphics. <laughs> next, time I see, next time I see the Beast Man, right? Down, he wants man. that one, one. That one framed and sent to him. He really wants that. He wants that graphic for this match. That's what he said. Sure. He said. Is that hey, what he said? He's bigger than me. So <sighs> okay. I mean, have you seen? Did you see the 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 helmet he was wearing? Headdress. Mm-hmm. No mount. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to fuck mm-hmm. with him. Yeah. Now. Plus, he's drawing on uh, Sorg's walls and stuff now. Anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> our third move of the evening. <laughs> Uh, someone took Danhausen out of the David Arquette versus Danhausen match and replaced him with the silver-haired fox Johnny Knoxville. Oh, somebody was impressed. On Sunday. 
Riz? I Riz, was very that? impressed. I was yeah. very were impressed. Were you that impressed by Johnny Knoxville? Riz yeah. just wanted to hurt me. Cool. Correct. 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 All right. uh, the next Actually, one uh, that was going to be my move, anyways. Like I just because I didn't even know that was a match that was already made. But yeah, somebody took the uh, the clip of Johnny Knoxville throwing that forearm and like dubbed in like the classic what you would expect Japanese wrestling audio, oh. and, and he like winds <laughs> back, and you hear just the crowd go, oh, and you're like, it sounds like a fab <laughs> gunshot. Oh, you know, it's so good. <laughs> Uh, our next match, the Mysterios and Los Lotharios was eliminated. Oh, hate to see a it. Match was, a match was added of AJ, Lee, and Punk versus Cole and Baker. We're just like, we're going in a loop? What's going on here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bad Mike, was that you? It was not. Oh, didn't you create the original match? Or did you I not? did. Oh, you're so sneaky. All right. Well, at least my memory is still good, even though my my uh, yep. my sniffing out of moves is not good. So that one was our Hall of Famer. Ah, this guy, nice one, LB. I liked I liked Sorg's idea of a couples match, mm-hmm. and I uh, I decided to see it through. It's a classic. Yep, uh, okay, Mayhem so. Mania staple at this point. Yeah, couples and intergender is what we're all about here. <laughs> so another match was added here. Uh, what's uh, pronunciation is going to be off? Mako, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. versus Rousey. Okay, wait, who's playing tonight? What amount of people? Riz, mm-hmm. there's one left. Riz, did I guess? You I guess one right. I already got you. You did Johnny Knoxville. Dang, what amount of people. Wait, who else is here? Oh, wait, Ron Starks. Was that Ron Starks? No, mm-hmm. the I Hall of Famer it. was. Was a celebrity shot for Ronnie this evening. Oh, uh, who was it? That would be me. Oh, that would be you. Oh my God! All right, I I, I said that there's only one champion that Ronda should challenge. And that's make us out of tomorrow. And there was the Alex, right. there was the Alice Car rule. And since you picked, uh, since you you know Mad Mike's the only one left, he scrapped Castle and Warhouse Warhorse because that's actually happening. Hmm. And uh, been a lot of that going around this year. Yeah, we, we're on point. Yeah, we're on. And uh, Cassidy versus Danhausen versus Abaddon was added. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, a very uh, evil match. A very orange match. A very. I'm just imagining Orange Cassidy while Abaddon is like drooling blood in front of him and just kind of being like. Uh, <laughs> there is a there, there's a good match on the YouTube of Sue Young versus Orange Cassidy that is very oh. similar. Oh fuck! I should have picked Sue Young to do that. Oh man. Okay. Oh, it's a good okay. thing there's plenty of weeks left. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Uh, we will. Uh, uh, the Royal Rumble uh, prizes will be for next week. We we'll get those all sorted out, and uh, I have something cooking for Elimination Chamber. Uh, I still got to let it percolate a little bit. I okay. think I got something pretty creative, but I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, but it will be ready for Elimination Chamber. Remember when we were, uh, I'm speaking of real life, obviously. But remember when we were supposed to get uh, Orange Cassidy versus Minoru Suzuki at WrestleMania week? <laughs> well, it's like a GCW show. It's going to be like two years ago. COVID ruined it like everything mm-hmm. else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. I, I, and I don't want to leave lead the audience though, but it kind of got me thinking because uh, uh, LB, I don't know how how aware you are of this, but the reason that I'm not on the Mayhem show is because I've been dragged away by other duties, which involve me watching NXT every week on Tuesday night oh, and uh, NXT 2.0, uh, which is kind of the reaction to a lot of things that happened. But uh, mm-hmm. uh, I've grown to appreciate. Toxic attraction, um, and I think they need. A, I think they need a match in Mayhem Mania. You guys got to get on this. Uh, I'll offer a oh, suggestion for you. Can't wait! Can't wait until we put them in space. Um, Matt, <laughs> Matt, you need to get. We need to get. We, we need to re- sort this out because I, I just a little suggestion. We'll, we'll, I, I, let's do three on two match. 
Let's do all three toxic attractions versus Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. See, Matt, like Matt, Matt. I I may be waiting for a certain person to escape space jail. Now this is this is was brought up by uh, by Tina, I believe, in one of the chats. Uh, there are NDAs expiring within the next week or so. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they will become available in our game of Mayhem Mania. Yes, I believe the ninety days are up for some folks at the end of the week. Yeah, mm-hmm. like that. I mean, yeah. Brian Kendrick's already up, so it's fine. Yeah, but well, he did. I don't think he even had. Uh, I know. He, What's that say about him? That was quite. I tell you what, though, as right off the go, don't worry about that NDA. We'll just we'll just cross that out there. You just you just do whatever your heart desires. Go ahead. You got this. In the long history of WWE write-offs, getting thrown down the stairs is pretty good. Like (laughs) a great write-off for Brian Kendrick. Thrown down the stairs and never seen of again. (laughs) Thrown down the stairs and never seen again. Um, you got the Poochie treatment. (laughs) <laughs> just float him off into space <laughs> Jail. if you ever heard yeah, any interview of Brian Kendrick <clears throat> he would be the guy to go back to his home planet yeah that's true <laughs> I, I'm just I'm, I, I sit here and I'm just thinking like wow they really um, just scooped him up really fast there's going to be a Brian Kendrick Brian Danielson match very soon and uh, Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh man, or or some sort of alliance between them, and that that's awesome. Yeah, you know, those two guys. I wouldn't know, be surprised all the way they, back. I wouldn't be surprised if they call up Paul London, Paul London, and we get London and Kendrick versus the Young Bucks. <laughs> Maybe mm. that'd be good too. Just There's run a it lot back. you could do with Kendrick. He's still a relatively young guy. So he's only like forty-one yeah. or something like that. So yeah, so it looks twelve though. I it, it, it comes in handy. Mm. So do what you can. Wait, the... never mind. What? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> so that was the week of Mayhem Mania. Yeah. Nice. Would any of you like any more suggestions for names from NXT that you could book? You want to hear about, uh, uh, oh my God, Kayla Inlay, uh, who popped up tonight. And um, CLB, uh, if Draco... you read the dirt sheets, if you read the dirt sheets long enough, you become the dirt sheets. Draco <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like I'm just making them up? I'm just making them up. I, right? You're <laughs> making them up. That's right. Matt, Some I've been books. trying to fantasy book Wendy Chu for a couple weeks in my you head. you got to get Wendy Chu in there. She was great tonight. Mm-hmm. Every single one of her moves involves her pretending to fall asleep now. It's, I, so I wish I could book her on night two. So it's Wendy Chu versus Maki Ito. That would be solid. That would be pretty <laughs> solid. Surely NXT, there's somebody. NXT sounds like creative backyard booking. Like. Like, remember <laughs> LB when we used to be like, oh, we need someone to be a butcher character, and all his moves are like the double meat hook suplex and That's like right. uh, knife edge chops mm-hmm. and various things that have everything, to do with butchery. Everything revolved around the theme. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and our and our other uh, our other uh, wrestler, the postmaster. He pinned people in small packages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he, that's what he did. He, flying elbows, he put a stamp on his elbow for air Oh, my God. Then, oh, my. oh, they really? Did he really? It was oh, those are all, we, we created Why that. Yeah, that's what he did. Why attempted? Bring on the Postmaster. Let's go. The only thing is, uh, he could never wrestle any of the uh, Sunday you know, he, shows. Because yeah, he, he couldn't work Sunday. <laughs> on Sunday. That's right. Well, that's great. I, I remember. I remember <laughs> Doc saying he wanted the finisher to be returned to sender. Yeah, and <laughs> now depending on if he was face or heel, if he was heel, he would come out and hand bills out to the crowd <laughs> and, and jury mail. duty and jury mail. mail. Yeah, yeah. And if he was face, he would hand out like Christmas cards from Grandma, you know, checks <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. You know what though? Like he would be in trouble if he had to face like the British Bulldogs or the Pit Bulls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'd be in a yep. tight spot if mm-hmm. he ever had. Uh... But he couldn't wrestle for WWE because all their pay per views were on Sundays. So well, now they're not. Certainly, we live in now, a now, 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 uh, now. They tried to hear live him. events. They yeah. tried to book him for years, and he's just, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. no I'm union, yeah. man. I'm yeah. union. Me, I'm union. union. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, the postmaster Chick Fil A and Hobby Lobby. None of them working on Sundays. So you're in, <laughs> but you're um, in like. When he would win his matches, they'd have to ring the bell twice. Hmm. 
because the postman. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and there, he always won by small package. Always yes, small package. Always, that's right. Always a small package. Always. <laughs> Unless it was off the top rope, then it was a large package. <laughs> overnight, he would overnight yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, airmail, yeah. Um, Handle with care. So this, I'll, I'll circling back to Wendy Chu, shockingly, has yet to use the sleeper hold as her finisher. Oh. And I'm just watching every week, like, what the hell are we even waiting for? What are we? Well, waiting I would for? imagine that would be her greatest weakness. That this has to happen right now. Yeah. Well, she was literally dozing off like during the, a six woman <laughs> tag match two weeks ago or something like that. Like I would think she's a, in the corner. A, uh, and that's I think a tequila <laughs> sunrise would be her her kryptonite, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or a sunset flip. Uh, very nice. But she's out there wrestling in her pajamas. I think I saw her tweet. A day or so ago, she's like, "Hey, I get all my wrestling gear off Amazon now." <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> so what a gig! She's out there, with slippers in her pajamas, wrestling. Honestly, it's nice work if you can get it. It is nice work. Yeah. She's got to figure out the right gimmick. You know, it's all about <laughs> how you can preserve your body for the long haul. So she's figured it out. She's in good shape now. So it's the future, man. I haven't worn hard pants since the beginning of the pandemic. Nope. Yeah. Just fucking burned all my jeans. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, she's a very relatable character working in her pajamas that everyone could be like, I see a lot of myself in her right now. Mm-hmm. It's Wendy Chu. Yeah. I, I, wish, <laughs> I wish that I knew that uh, Wendy Chu existed because I have a bad habit of loving wrestlers based solely on their names. Yeah. Wendy Chu is an excellent name because I would have uh, I would have added to the couples match Wendy Chu and my other favorite named wrestler, Dan Sandwich. <laughs> Alas. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll get them maybe next, next year. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, thank you everyone for participating. This has been Talking Mayhem Mania. We throw a big congratulations out to our new Hall of Fame member of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, the inaugural inductee, Mr. Lunchbox. Thank you kindly. It is it is greatly appreciated. And we thank our participants this evening, mostly uh, good old uh, Lunchbox and Mad Mike, Alex yes. Cars, The Riz, and Beastman for their contributions to tonight's card. And of course, as always, it's wonderful to see you and it's wonderful to hear you name who created the first match of the evening, Mainstream Matt. Everyone's got to have a gimmick, Chad. That's mine. You're you're knocking it out of the park. Mm-hmm. We thank you for creating this game. I thank you for letting me have the reins here with some uh, creative control and have some fun with it. And uh, I'm glad to be on a show again with uh, with Lunchbox. It's always fun. It's been a long time. And uh, we need to do it some more. I, I enjoy it. So this has been the hot, hot, hottest show. On the interwebs, this has been Talking Mayhem Mania. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.